welcome to breakfast board on Helena. My name is Philemon Anya and Thomas so far we are having the best of sporting activity. I have a super falcon later to the devil who playing the local the host of the women's African Cup of Nations to see whether they can find a sport in that particular tournament. It's a very big one for them as uh, the coach right now is excited that yes, the ladies uh, the ladies can get so far in the tournament. And Wardrum Wardrum is very, very excited uh, to see that yes, uh, the team that he is leading at the moment, uh, they are title contenders. They are actually going for the 10th title in this particular tournament. The Super Falcons, their name is written all over this particular one. And right now, right now, they will be playing Morocco in a very highly contested game in Casablanca. And uh, everybody is expecting that yes, uh, the Super Falcons, the Super Falcons will pull a major surprise in this particular tournament. It's not just the Super Falcons that is there. There's the likelihood of uh, the Super Falcons playing uh, the team that they played first in the tournament. We are talking about the Bayana Bayana of South Africa. At South Africa, they actually defeated the Super Falcons two goals to one in the first game. And all hopes are high that yes, if the Super Falcons meet the Bayana Bayana again in this particular one, there will be a lot of surprises that will be pulled up. The Super Falcons have never lost uh, to the likes of Cameroon in the Women's African Cup of Nations. But the recent one that they had a little bit of problem with uh, was still the Bayana Bayana. Bayana Bayana defeated the Super Falcons in the Aisha Bwari Cup, played last year, four goes to two. And earlier in this particular tournament, the Bayana Bayana still defeated the Super Falcons by two goals to one. But right now, all the teams, they are in the semi-final. And automatically, it means they have qualified for the 2023 World Cup to be co-hosted by Australia and New Zealand. And it's very exciting to see that not just the Super Falcons or the Bayana Bayana that have qualified for the World Cup. We also have Morocco that have also qualified. And Zambia, Zambia after peeping over Senegal, they also qualified for the World Cup. A much expectation on the necks of the Super Falcons as we are all expecting that, yes, there won't be a major challenge for them in the semi-final and they will see their way all through to the final. The La Decima, as most people call it in European football, that is what they are aiming for. Well, more details of sports will be brought to you on Global Sport later in the day where you get to know the information on what, what might stand against the Super Falcons and the advantage, advantages rather that they have against Morocco in that particular tournament and also what the Bayana Bayana also have to offer against Zambia in this particular tournament. Well, 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 a very big one for all the teams in the semi-final. Well, that's much we can take on breakfast sports on TMI. Join us by 11 for a more elaborate package of sports. Thanks for watching.